You know, welcome back, guys. We're talking. We've been talking a lot, actually. We took a very long break just now uh, because we were we're kind of excited about an idea. Discussing we have. projects. You remember what we talked? Well, I mean, we talked about. I mean, you know what? Yeah, we'll keep it secret. Yeah, because it's something that might actually happen late this year, early next year, as far as a finished product goes. So did I sleep? Is that day? yeah? You slept. You're up. It's day two, and uh, I better grab my phone so we remember what the hell's going on. Oh. No. Morning, Buck. You up? So glad Barry. he's back. <sighs> Breakfast's a fixin' downstairs, and they won't stand on you, so move out. Oh. Oh, bad feeling about that guy. Oh, no, no, I'm hungry Today's for breakfast. So far, she is stinking. <sighs> but, Monsieur, you can make it better. Uh. Sorry to hear you're out of money. Monsieur, my poverty. She forces me. Oh. She forces me to do what to do work. Oh, yeah, he's French people hate work. Feels like he's above it. Uh, so you need a job? A job? The chance she is fat. No, monsieur. I will be kicked out of the hotel before then. Uh, how did you lose your cash? Oh, Belcher. Huh? He is oh. a hip of a man. I'll say. So Wait, then what happened? What we saw. brothers take my monies. They scoff at me, Buick Riviera. <laughs> I see Monsieur does not grasp how esteemed is my lineage. I am related to the Seville's, the Gran Torino's, and the Monte Carlo's. Aren't those all just cars? Go. But they Let the could Riviera be people, too. Nah, I doubt it. Baby. Just cars. <laughs> now, real quick, go back to your room. But perhaps Monsieur... Oh well, of you course you got to give him some money. Oh, of course. The pocket, the bit maybe. You know, this guy oh, deserves okay. it. Thank you, Monsieur. I take two sweet. You know, like the sugar cubes, Monsieur Le Trotter feeds his horse. And you know, if you ever have to make Le Trotter vanish, oh. give him the sugar cube. C'est vrai. What? Do you ever want to get rid of that guy's horse for any reason? Real quick, go back to your room. It's like it's a, it's deadly allergic to sugar cubes. Oh, I see what they're saying. Okay, yeah, never mind. You can head back out. Because it made it sound like there was something you had to pick up, but it's actually you have to do two of three chores today. Essentially. Oh. One of which is find boots, find a gun, find ammo. That's the three things. It's your three goals for day two. It's ahead of its time. It's like Red Dead in the camp. True. Got to do your choring. Well, let's chat with uh, your gal that you are sweet on. But remember, she's right next to her. Her boyfriend. He doesn't scare me in the least. Why? Morning, Laurel. Why didn't a stranger come to break bread with us? I heard you had a rough night. A very rough night. You got in that fight. I mean, I won. <laughs> I like rough nights. Are you? <laughs> Baby, you have a way about you, you know? You goddamn right I do. Uh, uh. I usually have better manners. Oh. Don't get your water hot. Oh, no. Don't say it. Be cool to Mountain Laurel. All right. Sorry for making such a stink. Apologies accepted, baby. Yeah, you. it was kind of rude. So what are you going to do today? I'll be loading shells all afternoon. They say the kid's coming, you know. I got to be prepared. Uh-oh. The kid. There's another. The kids robbed more, shot more, and killed more than any desperado. He's the most feared outlaw in the West. <laughs> but that's not what the ladies say. You know he's uh he's with that one gal who sings poorly. They the kid? They mentioned something about how her and the kid were oh. an item. <sighs> I think. It ain't proper to well, then why are they making such a big fuss? Yeah, he's probably just coming to see his gal. She'll tell you. You don't know enough about the kid. All right, well, goodbye, yeah, Laurel. Set a spell, read the paper, and baby. What is it, Laurel? Get yourself. A new <laughs> it pair sounds of like a Larry <laughs> one. Those ones you got on look awful put off. All right. Oh. oh! The way they rendered her, like boobs in this game is very strange. She was in me. Uh, what, what about talk to Jones? Talk to Jackalope. I just did again. Wait, I didn't get breakfast. Oh yeah, have some breakfast. You ate five muffins. Sugar! I ate sugar! 
Main Street Assault. <gasps> it's me. How did in everybody the know? Well, making his way home from evening's customary libation, you know, correspondent S. Speed would appear to be uh, yet another assault on the propri- uh, propriety of our fair municipality. A certain bully, notorious here for his pestering and blustering, was uh, confronting a weather toughened individual here too for their un- uh, unknown. S- the stranger, so christened, displayed a remarked. But to a reticence when challenged by the oaths and cajoling of the bully, instead of knuckling under the usual man of the stranger, returned the bully's swinish gaze with crystalline and steady vision. In a blinding flash, a clenched hand lunged forward, pressing deep into the corpulence of his buy sell trade. <laughs> Your junk is our treasure. Visit the curiosity shop. All right, well, let's. Uh... Can I take the cutlery? Apparently not. Anything in the dishes and stuff? Anything here? Hello? Hmm. I'm guessing probably not, but I guess, you never know. Sometimes people seem to hide things behind stuff for no reason in this in this world. Are you making music? It sounded like three blind mice for a second. Oh, it was. I was trying. I thought it was going to be hot cross buns for a second. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Shit. DJ Chit 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 Chit. All right. Fucking. Talk to the old hotel clerk after him. Jaco, Jaco, Jackie, Jackie, Bugo, Jackalope. What Jack-a-lope. happened to you last night? Yeah. Looks like you've Never. been fighting. I ran into trouble. Yeah, so did Cabus O'Mara. He's a scrapper, but against them Belchers. Cabus O'Mara. Doc Rodham's been to see him. He should live. Oh, uh, well, how do I look? Oh. You don't look so bad. Must have won a fight. Thank you. Funny enough. What's going on today there, J- Jackalope? Could you some sprucing up. Play Man, everybody hates our right boots. Now, no gal's going to give you the time of day. What's to do after that? Hit Main Street. Mosey. Poke your nose anywhere you choose. The game is finally Poke starting. Range. Fire off a few rounds. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't have a gun, day. but well, Thanks. that's part of what we got to do today. Let me give you some advice. Oh, Diamondbacks got pickpockets the way Tallgrass got chiggers. Ooh. Keep your cash in your pocket and it'll disappear. Best put your greenbacks in the bank. Well, where, where, where's the? I know where the bank oh, is. Oh yeah, I'm somebody can rob you. They'll take all your money and you'll have to make more money. That's fine. <laughs> Ugh. God damn it. Oh, any more advice? Note, if you do not visit Get the bank gun, during the game, eventually you will gun. be robbed. Lord Jesus. That's not a bad Ain't thing if you want to see the robber. Back without one. Mm. And while you're at it, get some bullets too. Okay, thanks. Goodbye. Look, I'm around if you need me. All right. So I'm going to save it real quick. Good idea. And let's talk to the hotel clerk. This creepy guy. Good morning. You just missed a gunfight. What? A real humdinger. We prefer our guests alive. It makes billing so much easier. Oh my yes. Oh <laughs> my. Oh my yes. Uh any messages? No. None at the moment. Uh so what's new with Did you? You know Mr. Flippo posts the daily rattler on his porch? Yep. Bye. Good morning. Okay. All right. Let's get the fuck out. I cannot talk at the moment. Leroy's after the maid again. Oh. Regina, Regina, the princess of the prairie. You don't seem too upset oh, by no. this. Oh, oh no. he's very upset. Oh, no. His day is ruined. 
He has to go save the maid from an assault. From Leroy! She'll be fine. I bet she could take care of herself pretty well. Seems gonna, like a capable woman. Probably gonna give her a good bop. Wait! Is that a pile nose. of horse shit? It might be. You could take... Oh. What, do you want it? Yeah, I guess you can't have it. There's more! There's lots of it. Well, you know, he did just mention Doc Rodham, so why not... Uh, it was right across the street from the hotel. You see the doctor. Uh, if he's in. Let's see if there's anything we could take here while I'm at it. Huh. I'm guessing we're going to be doing that at some point. Maybe. Nothing else to do in here right now, huh? Whitewater White Medical School God, of Arkansas. It's, it's all Clinton references. <laughs> Hillary Rodham. That was very timely. All right, well, fuck it. Let's get out of here. Uh, you can go to the bank now if you want and put your fucking money away. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I was going to the doctor. Who dis? This is Dr. Hillary Rodham. Have you come about? Oh, God, it's actually her. Face. I told them. I said universal. Universal for everybody. But did wow. Listen? This game is more timely now than <laughs> ever. <laughs> Seriously. You must be Doc Who Rodham. Is? If my mom found out I had a game that had her face in it back then, it would have been Whitewater, she would have taken the CD Arkansas. out and broke it. <laughs> With a short stint in the District of Columbia. It even sounds like her. What are your hours? <laughs> so I do do house calls. I visited Bob Dole Wow! A fucking a fucking Bob Dole reference. What? The 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 primaries what were going, is going on, on in ninety five, so it makes sense. It's is this weird. Does this actually take place in the like the 1800s, or is this just like a everybody's putting? On is a, this like the fucking the village, where it's like current but like such indecision, oh. just like Bill. Jesus Christ! I don't even so many topical references. Guns. I'm looking for a gun. Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. The lack of gun control raises the cost of health care to unacceptable levels. I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> oh boy all right well goodbye stranger goodbye i'm off to the gingrich homestead what newt's throwing his fits again they're not even he's trying to be like in his head and, he <laughs> and before she leaves she's just up. like by the way lamar alexander steve forbes and uh i don't know uh <laughs> mike dukakis goodbye <laughs> vote clinton <laughs> what <laughs> Or Bob Dole. I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's. And that bitch, Monica Lewitz. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> that would have been great considering that didn't happen for a few years. Yeah. Like, this game knew it. They knew. Mission. Oh, get the fuck to the bank. If you, you know, want your money. Hello? What are we going to hear? To certify something or other. A certified bank? Yes, sir. You are in a real bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like you got a red cent. Ah, uh -huh. shows what you know. I want to deposit. Wait. Well, just put two hundred dollars in, and then keep your sixty-five. And it, you need give, more. I want to withdraw, or I want to deposit. Remain. Oh wait, I want to deposit money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how much? Two hundred. That seems like the smart thing to do. Bye. Come back later. They're like we're, the bank's been robbed. Yeah. Else? And then we, it, those things are false. We're not insured. News. This is a bank, not a newspaper. Ask that hack. Shit, Lippo. I was asking a personal level, sir. Need this guy What's new with you? This guy doesn't want friends. Clearly. Well, yeah, you know what? He's not gonna yeah, have any. Yeah. Not with an attitude like that. I'm, 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 I'm stepping out. I'm done with him. Good day, sir. Well then. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, it's uh, it's I'm what's her name? Walking, and you 
Oh, Marie Macintosh. Marie Macintosh. How's that walking you? Oh, just uh, enjoying the morning. You want to flatter her. So much dust. They did it again. Yep. The clever bastards. I could use help. How can I help you? <laughs> Got any boots? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but your feet are enormous. Bigger even than Jay Nevins's. You take that back. <laughs> He's got a crush on me. Papa has boots. He leaves them outside his room each day for the maid to polish. Maybe ask Mr. Bolivar. He might have some. I could just steal your dad's. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I could just steal oh, your dad. I've never even held a gun. Give me your dad. I never even held a gun. Bullets? Got a truckload. Diamondback seems for All right, we're just going to say bye to her. <laughs> it's not Bye-bye. Okay. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. You bet. So uh you bet. <laughs> if you uh if you walk around a bit. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, oh, left, left. Go. Oh, oh, hey. What's that? What? Turn left. Turn Tumbleweed. Left. The other left. What's that? Turn, no, turn around. Left, left, left. What's that on the right? Or left? <laughs> got pie? You got a pie! I got a pie! Well, Diamondback's a place to go somewhere down there in New Mexico. Two kinds of cans, change one with a show. Diamondback, now giddy up, go they. You got drinks not made in blenders. They bartender with three fingers. Even some old wandering singer. Outlaws who might be dead ringer. That was uh, every country song ever written. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Uh, so I've been to the bank. Here's the the mother. I can go see if her dad left his boots out. That's true. Talk to her. Yes. Goodness, you gave me a start. I'm just back. Oh, this is who you want to flatter. I am completely overwrought. Completely. Your taste is so sophisticated. <laughs> For somebody. <laughs> For a second. So keep flattering. Uh, keep flattering. The, the top. Your husband sets new standards. You go by you solicitous man. Man. I feel like a schoolgirl back in Illinois. How gentle is the desert air to your complexion? Such a pleasure to discover a body with manners. And you're so wild looking too. Ooh, we're getting her hot and bothered now. You're a vision of beauty. <laughs> oh, you, I don't believe you for a second. Hit her with that again. You're a shimmering paragon. Oh, you solicitous man. Lands. I feel like a schoolgirl back in Illinois. All right. Now start asking her questions. Your eyes are liquid. <laughs> oh. Uh, and about as clear as a mud puddle. Oh, don't do that. Such a pleasure to discover a body with flat manners. Runner. And you're so wild looking too. All right, let's chat. But first, look out for Mr. Dead Nettle. He collects the most scandalous pictures <gasps> of women exposing their ankles. The hussies! I would never patronize a business with such lax views on morality. It's a weird thing to think about. That there was a time where. <laughs> Or even just showing some leg was like, that's slut. And if you're a guy, you see an ankle and you're like, huh? <laughs> I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> uh, yeah, say so you heard about Ruby? Ruby, practically too scandalous to mention. And she was once respectable. True, true. Married to the O'Dowdle boy in Magdalena. Fever carried him off three months after the wedding. And now, you think that hair's her real color? Yeah, it's eighteen eighty-two. Yeah. I mean, maybe that was a thing. Did people dye their hair back then? Did they? I don't know. Did the fall of I wonder when that started? And brazen strumpet parades down Main Street, bold as brass. Ooh, brazen strumpet. But I know a secret. It's a good band she name. She has a book she keeps in her room. It's from her professor friend back east. Ooh. One can only guess what's inside. 
I'm Googling. <laughs> when did hair dyeing begin? Actually, that sounds like something you'd find out. It's been thousands of years old. Eugene Schuler, the founder of L'Oreal, is recognized for creating the first synthetic hair dye in 1907. Really? What did the ancient Romans use to dye their hair? Yeah, it's been around for a long time. I, it seems like one of those things would be like that. Okay. Well, let's keep finding out information from her. Like Purvis. What can I do for you? Tell me about this Purvis fella. He's so respectable too. It's all that Indian squaw's fault, if you ask Ooh. me. But nobody has. Lens, I've been carrying on. And be on the lookout for Marie's hanky. Oh. She's dropped it somewhere. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. So this is what it says to do. Talk to her again. And then find a hanky? It's you. All right. I, I feel like you've probably you? made a nice relationship with this woman at this yeah. point. It's time to ruin that. What? Why would I do such a thing? Why, I never. Neither have I. I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> such insolence. <laughs> it gives you a certain mummified look. Why, I never. I love Star Longhorn. Such insolence. Uh, pea brained intolerance. But as clear as a mud puddle. What a very nerve. I will not stand for this. I must fetch my husband, the mayor. What a weird interaction we all just had. Bring his so, shoes! So now that she's gone, uh, go in the house. You're, you're breaking and entering. And I'm stealing his goddamn boots. Yeah, now you can go up the stairs. Or the boots that are by the door, but whatever. Uh, upstairs? That was weird. What? Care if we do live in heathen land, Wait. we still knock. Out, out, out! Wait, it said she was gonna leave. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, okay, all right. Ooh, nice. All right, we got an apple. Okay, we were in here. Yeah. Hmm, so it creaked. It doesn't say anything about that here. Let's try again. No! Oh, I see what it is. What? There's a pattern on the stairs you have to sidestep. Oh, yep. clever, actually. Okay, I wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah, the fact that they actually threw in a little puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. That's what I said about, like, the way I thought about this game when we started playing it is it's it's a good game with really kind of not great certain production values, like some of the voiceovers and stuff. But, oh, what the? Weaseling your way into our house. Like <gasps> should be uh oh. Like this. Well, thanks for watching today, everybody. <laughs> We're dead. Our first death. Our first death of the game. Tune back in tomorrow, and we will get ourselves back to that point and successfully. Well, can't blame the mayor for oh. getting a little steamed. Was his house after all? It's true. And yeah. with a young girl around, the father has to take precautions. Yeah, I've got no defense. Even so. There were some who thought shooting the stranger stone cold dead a tad extreme. Nah, how could he have known? I'd we never met him. The stranger <laughs> in Shady Acres. It was a nice coffin. The best we could afford. Oh. I think he would have appreciated it. I do. <laughs> yeah. It was actually that was more than I deserved. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh we'll get back to that point. Uh save the game this time. Uh I mean all you gotta do is just skip through a bunch of dialogue, so yeah. it shouldn't take long. We'll be back tomorrow. All right. Bye. Bye.